So hi guys, are you having a nice bromyard? Fantastic. How's the ice cream or have I stopped you from having <laughs> very it? Very good, it's very good. So how far have you come to, to be with us? From Wolverhampton. Okay, from Wolverhampton. Wolverhampton. Yeah. Wolverhampton. Is that yeah. Black Country or is that is it yeah. Ne yeah. nearly? Nearly. Yeah. Um, and have you done Bromyard before? Yeah, yes. we've been coming about six years. I thought I recognised those faces. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, are, you, are you enjoying this year? Oh, I think it's been the best. Yeah, I think it's, it's been best fantastic, isn't it? Year, I think. Yeah. It's been fab. It's been really good. Yeah. Any highlights apart from me? Well, I just think it's been really good because there's so many young artists here yeah. this year. Yeah. And that's so lovely. Yeah. Isn't it? Because we yeah. go to so many folk festivals, but I think there's been so many young new artists. Yeah. We've loved it. So, the thing about this festival is, yeah, yeah. if only we could find one of the patrons yeah. of this festival, if only there was, if only one of the patrons was around, yapping to some bloke, if only we could find, yeah. I've been looking for one of the patrons of the festival, so we could get them to, wait a minute, hang on, who's that in the distance? Could that, is that, that looks like, Cohen, Cohen, <laughs> come, just excuse me my friend, let me just steal this patron of the festival. We're just, we're doing a few, come and stand there. Cohen, we're saying it, we're just saying a few things about why this festival is special. And I was just thinking, one of the reasons it's so special is it has such wonderfully talented patrons. So, just, no, seriously mate, what, what's special about Bromyard for you? Because you've probably done more festivals than me. I've been... This was the very first folk festival I came to in 2007, when I was 11 years old, and I've been to everyone since. And it's just, it's such a privilege to come back to a festival that I've grown up at, and you know, people here that I've known for, yeah, since I was 11. And it's, it's also, it's the end of the summer, it's the last time you see everyone for nearly a year, it's, it's that, you know, final hurrah of the folk scene. It's, yeah. Bit special, isn't it? It really is. I told so you it would be worth finding a patron, wouldn't it? That was cool. <laughs> So we're just we're just grabbing someone as they come from getting their lovely lovely food from No Bones Jones, one of the fantastic concession stores here. They're, and trust me, they're all brilliant. I've, I've tried them all. So this lady is going to put so much chili sauce on because she's trying to avoid the interview. But I'm going to grab her. I'm determined to grab her because she's got look. She's got a lovely thing in her hair. Can, can, can. Have you been to a few Bromyards? I'm right in thinking. This is my second festival I've been stu volunteer stewarding. Okay. Yeah. How is the stewarding going? Fantastic. I can re highly recommend it if you've never been do some stewarding or volunteer. So, I've grabbed one of my oldest folk friends. I mean, oldest in the in the nicest possible way. Um, and I'm just, uh, we're stopping him from selling the Melodian to this lovely lady you can hear in the background. Um, this is Pete Grasby, who did, how many times have you been to Bromyard, Pete? Uh, well, I'm 70 now, and I first came when I was seven, uh, 21. So, uh, <laughs> you do the maths. <laughs> yeah, let's not do the maths. It's slightly longer than Cohen that we just spoke to. Um, but I did think for a minute you were going to say, I'm 70 now, and I've been coming since I was 70. Which would have been, that would have been a, a first. But yeah. uh, No, I've uh, only been trading for a, a since uh, 1987, so I've had a stall since that for that length of time. Before then, I just came as a punter and the Morris dance, and uh, I involved in the festival totally, one way or another. And you do loads of festivals. Any reason why this one's special? Um, well, partly because it is the first festival I ever did. It's got its own atmosphere for me, and uh, it's got its own collection of people and its collection of memories and things. Uh, you know, obviously we started in very primitive conditions on the other field. Yeah. And uh, we, there was one year when we came here when we did all our cooking on the bonfire because they used to provide a big stack of wood, <laughs> and uh, so we had a bonfire burning all weekend. And I can remember standing round that bonfire at three o'clock in the morning, wrapped in my cloak with bit icicles warming in my beard from the freezing fog that had come down. So I've seen it all here. We've seen it wet, seen it dry, seen it hot, seen it icy. Pete, I think I was that year, I was there that year, and I think I might have been singing in the background whilst you were getting your icicles for <laughs> well See you next yeah. year? Yeah, indeed, yes. Certainly. Thank you so much, man. Go and Thank sell you, some please. instruments.
come in for a relatively short time, only about five, five or six years. Okay. Um, but it's a lovely little festival. It's one that we were always looking forward to and never quite made it to. And now realise just how much we missed over about 30 or 40 years. Ago. Pretty, pretty special, isn't it? It is pretty, pretty special. Pretty, it's got a special place already, hasn't it? Absolutely. Um, will, are you likely to come back next year? I expect so. I expect we will. But what I like is the fact that it's got the youngsters involved as well. We've just been down um, to listen to the competition. Oh yeah, the, yeah. the future, the, future of folk competition. Future of folk, you know, and There's the one. fact that they encourage the youngsters so much here Isn't it to actually great? get involved, yeah. and then you know, you'll see them up on the, the winner up on the stage today. Yeah. You know, with all the grey-haired old fogies who've been yeah. here for years, yeah. but. They mix together and it, and it really works. Yeah. It really yeah. works. Young, was, and, young and oldies alike. Yeah. There were six winners on stage. That was the six people who took part in the competition. Yeah. Fantastic. And, uh, what a great thing to see. Yeah. They were, the, the future of folk is safe in their young hands. As opposed to my old scabby as a, hands. As opposed to ours, yeah. yeah. Yes. Thank you so much, guys. See you next time. All the best. <laughs> Look forward to it. Hey, we've, we've cornered Paul from Wild Things. Paul, everybody's been admiring your T-shirt and tell us something about what you do here at Bromyard. You've been here before, right? Yeah, this is probably our fifth or sixth time at Bromyard. We do Warwick as well. And we've been here teaching kids some basic forest crafts, forest skills, including making charcoal. Fantastic. So that's our charcoal. We make it in a little roses sweet tin. And we teach them to uh, cut wood and peel the wood. And then we light a fire without matches. We use fire steels, get the fire going, pop this on top, put a lid on and cook the wood. That's the point. We're cooking the wood. We're not burning it. And hopefully, as will often be the case, we end up with some charcoal awesome. which you can, you can draw with, you can burn it and use it as a uh, fuel for a barbecue, you use it as a filter medium, all sorts of things. You could even put war paint on your face. You can do, you can become a wild thing. Just so like is, there, is there anything special for you about Bromyard? Because this is, this is a special one to it, me. It's the right size, it's always good and it's great for us to come here. We drive up all the way from Cornwall, it takes a long time. On a all right, night. okay. Yeah. So I do, uh, I do do a few festivals. I'm gonna ask this beautiful person who I first met just slightly south of Bromyard. I think it was probably Canberra, was it, in, in Australia? So, so Marilla, uh, yes. what makes Bromyard special for you? It's like coming home. Um, so it's, I first started coming here working behind the bar. Um, then I have performed here, not this year, hopefully next year. Um, and that was a hint. Ross, I think that was a hint. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I was helping out stage managing this year and it's just like coming and being in a big family and seeing people who are just wonderful. It's got a lot of heart. And where is home down under? Where, where are you actually from? I'm from Melbourne. Home is in Sheffield. Oh, home is now Sheffield, okay, yeah. that's cool. So this is like coming home to Sheffield in Melbourne, but in in, this, in England. <laughs> coming home to the folk family, okay. yes. Um, yeah. How many times have you done Bromyard? Five? Oh, okay, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. I think. And see you next year? Yes, if Ross books me.